everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the items that I received from Temu. I do have a video up where I did an unboxing of some items Temu had sent me for review. And I'll put that card up in the corner if you haven't seen it yet. So I did say we'll take a closer look at some of the items from that haul. I've already done um, the Brute Funner Metallics. And I did a shorts on the larger set of 260 fruit funners too. So you can check that out as well if you haven't seen those. So today we're going to be checking out these watercolor paints from Marie's. And I thought also we could swatch them out on this watercolor paper that was also in that haul. I haven't opened it yet. And I have my little box cutter that I also got in that haul as well. I've been using this a lot. I like this. I think this is my favorite item from that haul actually. And if you watched that video and you saw me struggling with this thing and I didn't know what it was, it is a handle. Um, the, these little magnets can come out. And since this is like a silicone thing, it's flexible, so. You, take the, you have to take the magnet out first and then push it through the hole. Put the magnet back in there. And then presto, change out, oh, it's a handle. And um, this is not even sharp, so it's just nice and handy to open up boxes. Actually, I'm gonna make use of it today. We're gonna I'll open up the plastic for this paper. This is A5 watercolor paper. It says, I have seen this before a lot of, in a lot of stores and on Amazon too, I think. It has 20 sheets, 300 GSM. I'll pop the price in for this because I don't remember the price, but um, it's nice textured watercolor paper. So we'll put that on the side and we'll swatch these watercolors out. This is 24 Watercolors by Marie's. Um, I did mention that I had never heard of this brand before, but someone in my comments of that haul video did mention that this is a, like a kind of like a well-established brand. And um, so I did look into it. They don't have like the best reputation, um, seems like, but... We'll see today how how they are, how these watercolors are. First thing I will say though, um, the listing itself for these watercolors, um, the product looks totally like the box is different, and the paints themselves are don't look like the picture they show in the advertisement. And these paint brushes, um, I'm not even gonna use these paintbrushes because they look pretty terrible. Um, I, I hate to start off this review so bad already, but these paintbrushes are not, uh, are not it. It's got glue, which, um, I'm sure we, we can wash that off in water, but honestly, I think this one's even worse looking. I think the paintbrushes that come in the Crayola little kid watercolor paintbrush set is um might be better than these so we're not gonna I'm not gonna use these to test these out let's see so these are five millimeters I don't know why I see keep saying millimeters but milliliters they're five milliliters each um these come in a 12 24 maybe 36 I think I saw I don't know. I'll put all the info, of course, down below. And um, they have foil seals on all of the tubes. So I'm going to have to remove all of those before we get started. So let me do that. And when we come back, we'll be ready for swatching. All right. So you guys, these th these are already causing me a headache. I am get, trying to get the foil off the top of these tubes is really hard. I had to pull out the tweezers. I'm pulling out, the, trying to pull the foil off. It's like really stuck on there. And then the paint 
popped out. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take the foil off like one at a time and then swatch them as I'm taking the foil off. Otherwise, I'm going to be probably ending up with a big mess. So um, I'll probably I'm going to speed this up just so it's not like a 20 hour video of me struggling to open up these tubes. So I'm going to put some music and hopefully get through swatching all these and then we'll come back and um, I'll do some final thoughts on what I think about them. Okay, so let's get started with the swatches. think I can finish swatching these out just because I'm getting kind of frustrated with um, trying to open these up. I mean, I could poke a hole in here, but then I'm afraid the paint's going to squish out and make a mess. Um, the paint, the actual ones that I have swatched already, they're nice. They're pretty. They're nice pigmented colors. I think they do seem kind of like um, they must be like a dye not necessarily I would say like actual pigment but you know I'm not um I'm not an expert on watercolor paints or anything like that but yeah I've been struggling with this one um paint trying to pull this off and it does have they do have like a little tab on the side where you're supposed to be able to pull it up I'll show you see over here like that's the little tab where you should be able to just pull it off the tube and it's just really hard. Um, like if you're a child or even a grown up with hand issues, you're going to be throwing these against the wall in no time, I think. And I feel like I have um, a good amount of patience. So let's see what happens if we poke this in here. So I'm going to say, um, I'm gonna do a hard pass on these already. Um, I love this. This is my favorite. The watercolor paper is fine um, for the price and everything, but um, I really can't recommend buying these watercolor paints at all. Just because e even though they're the actual paints themselves, um, there's nothing wrong with the paints. They're they're fine watercolor paints, but just the sheer involvement you have to try and get through to open it, these tubes, um, it's not worth it, in my opinion. I don't usually like... Whenever I review products, I like to find um, positives, you know, in everything that I review or look at, um, you know, I like to take into account like people's preferences are maybe are different than mine, you know, etc. But as you can see here, as, as I'm talking, this is like nearly impossible to open up. So. You know, I'm not doing, I'm not trying to do surgery to paint <laughs> over here, especially with paints that are not, um, you know, like a high quality paint. These are just hobby paints. They shouldn't be so difficult to get open, I think. So we're going to stop these swatches just because I have to go to work. And I think you guys get the idea. Um on what they look like, the colors, 
are nice and pigmented and everything, but I can't with these tubes. All right, you guys. So since this was a little bit of a bust, um, let's check something else out from that haul. Um, I have some... I have these highlighters. They are Morandi colored highlighters. There's two sets available and they're $4.48 each. There's a set A and a set B. So let's swatch them out and see what the colors look like. I did order these with the intention of using them for coloring, um, but they are advertised as highlighters. I think they're, I think they, they're water-based markers but we'll see if we can use these for a coloring or not or if they're just I mean we could highlight some stuff <laughs> sometimes I need to highlight things all right so this is set a we're checking out so they have kind of a chisel like a typical highlighter chisel tip so no color names they're just just says highlighter on the outside. And it says half sugar highlighter. So this is the blue color. Yeah, these are definitely water-based because it's pulling up the paper. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to scrub, press so hard on these. Let's just do a light. Mauvish lavender color. It's like a dusty plum. I'm just making up color names as we go along here. Um, I like the celery green. It's kind of a Dusty salmon, and then this one is kind of like a bone color. All right, so that's set A. Let's see how. Let's see what set B looks like. They seem like, are these the same? No, they're different colors. This is more of a muted bluish gray, like a slate blue, maybe. Let's keep going with these blues. This is another grayish blue, looks like. More sky, like a cloudy sky blue. This one. So, that one's more gray looking, like an elephant gray, maybe. Let's try this one. Lavender, like a grayed lavender. And it's another lavender. It's more a little bit on the orchid side, maybe pinkier. And then finally this one looks like a yellow or orangey-ish gray, French gray maybe. Okay, so that's all the colors we have in the set A and set B of these Morandi highlighters. Um, I definitely think we can color with them. Um, like I said, they are water-based, so you gotta be careful. Um, with water-based markers, sometimes they will peel up the paper. That's why I personally prefer alcohol markers, but water-based markers are good too because they don't usually, well, this is watercolor paper, so it wouldn't show through anyway, but we didn't get any show through with the paints either. So what do you guys think of the things we tested out today? Watercolor paints, water-based highlighters, um, Box cutter is the best, I think. Um, and the paper itself is nice too. So I'm gonna put all of the 
info for Temu and everything, all these products. I'm going to even add the products from the haul too down below if you want to check anything out. Hopefully I'll ha have the opportunity to try out more items from Temu so you guys can make a better decision on what to get from there. And I'll see you guys really soon. Happy coloring and I'll see you guys next time.